Aloha, Richard Halverson here. This is ITS 228. And this is the first uh, video of uh, fall 2023. And I'd like to just go over the syllabus. So let me share my screen. And uh, so go to Laulima, you should see your course up here. If you don't, click over here and you should see it here. If you don't see it here, you can um, email me. We can figure out why it's not there. <clears throat> if you click on overview, you see the syllabus. This is online asynchronous. Uh, the playlist is gonna go here. It's the first video of the playlist. And if what you wanna meet, we can meet via Zoom. Uh, I can go into KCC also. Uh, this is the textbook, and I'll go over the textbook in a moment. Cost eighty nine dollars. Um, this is the the um, this the calendar, and so I've uh, spaced out. There's you know there's uh, twelve chapters, and I've spaced them out pretty good. Um, there's just one lab. Uh, this is Zybooks. It's similar to previous other Zy books that you've probably used in your courses. Um, but this course is a lot it's a lot more about the data structures and the algorithms. It's it's more into algorithms than than 148 was. And uh, so uh, it's it's in so the challenge activities are really the most important. It's it's important that you that you uh, pay attention when you're doing the participation activities. You know you you'll get all the points but you want to make sure you understand it. And then it's the challenge activities, which which really tests your understanding of, of the data structure or how the algorithm works. And that's really what this course is about. And, and programming is just going to be, there's there's uh, one lab per, per chapter. And uh, so let's, let's get into the textbook just a little bit. And uh, this is what it looks like when you cost $89. It looks like you can sign up for a whole year if you want to. Um, and uh, so this is what it looks like. So so we're going to go uh, first introduce data structures and algorithms, the concepts. Um, there's, you know, we've got these various data structures that we're going to be using. This is like all of them, pretty much. Uh, the, there's the graphs and the trees get complicated because there's different kinds of graphs and different kinds of trees. And, um, it's how the trees are are built and the properties between the nodes and so on. The, this is a special kind of tree, a heap. Um, and um, so this, so so these are the data structures that we'll, we'll be working with. And then the algorithms regarding algorithms, that's you know how you manipulate these data structures. And you know, this is an algorithm for manipulating for traversing the finding the maximum in an array. See, this is an algorithm for finding the maximum uh, value in, in, a, in an array. It just loops through all the elements and each time keeps track of the biggest one. Uh, so there's uh, uh, there's searching and searching algorithms. There's sorting, a lot of different sorting algorithms. We, we learn the algorithms and, and then we learn uh, the Python version, we, we look at Python code, uh, lists, stacks, and queues are special type of lists, um, and uh, hash tables are, are associative, are how, you, how we implement associative arrays. There's trees and different kinds of trees, um, binary search trees, tries, special kind of tree, Balanced trees, ABL trees. Uh, there's heaps. Heaps heaps have a special property that the node is is always bigger than either of its children or smaller than either of its children. Uh, then there's sets. It's how, how we implement how we implement and use sets. And these all these are all base. A lot of these are basic uh, abs, basic data types in Python already, which makes it easier. And then uh, graphs are like trees, except for they can come back and connect up with each other. There's different ways of traversing graphs and graphs are used for all kinds of things. Uh, finding the shortest path between two cities, for example, and by air, by air 
uh, by an air airplane, for example. Uh, this this goes into more some other special kind of algorithms that we, we use. Um, see, let, let's go to the. Uh, it's harder to see. It's easier to see Huffman compression. Uh, we see how how that works. How compression works. Various ways of doing that. Dynamic programming. B trees. Two, three, four trees, and so on. And um, so, and 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 each one of these chapters has a, you know, pretty not 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 that easy lab at the end. And you know, you download these these files here and add code to one of them. Not sure which one. Um. But the good news is, let's see, let's go back to the syllabus. The good news is uh, when we look at the grading, I count the best seven out of 12. So that means you don't have to do five of them. Just find seven of them to do. And um, you know that's all you have to do. Uh, again, it's, I think the challenge activities are the, the most important ones because that actually tests your understanding of the concepts of you know traversing a, a you know binary search tree what does that mean and how do you do it and um if each node in a binary in a binary search tree has has a value and you traverse it in, in a certain way then then is then uh it'll either be a in order or reverse order or you know whatever um that's what this class is all about so uh Make sure you uh, do this participation verification the first week of class. Uh, so I know you're, you're going to take the class. The Gradebook Classic is um, just as they are were in previous classes. I'm going to drop the lowest five in the labs here. Uh, I'll send out emails, the, the e email archive, and there will be... Um, hmm, uh, there will be... Here there will be uh, videos. Uh, there'll be um, um, playlists from previous times that I've taught the course. I guess I didn't finish filling in this, but um, there'll be those those playlists, and so we'll try to have uh, uh, videos for for nearly all the challenge activities and nearly all the labs. You know enough to really get you going where you should, really you should try to do them on your own but if you're stuck um, you can look at the videos and get hits all right so uh, that pretty much is how this class is going to run um, if you have any questions uh, you can uh, contact me and um, I'll be doing videos every week or so uh, just to keep you up to date and to show you where things are and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.